Hello, I'm Anna Schmidt, and like you, I'm wild about Washington. The recent Puyallup Fair was a good place to introduce the next generation to some of the residents of Puget Sound. That is, the residents under Puget Sound. The Department of Fish and Wildlife employees got to meet many new friends at the fair and also gave some of the younger ones their first chance to catch a fish. We have collected creatures from the Strait of Juan de Fuca, like sea urchins and sea cucumbers and crabs, in order to educate the general public on what kinds of creatures live inside Puget Sound and therefore uh, give a segue into discussing the health of Puget Sound and other environmental and ecological issues. And just give kids a chance to get to know what's living under our waters. I think they are really excited about it. A lot of kids come in that have never seen these kinds of animals before or touched them before, and this way they get a chance to interact with them in a way they wouldn't normally be able to if they're just watching a video or something on television. We've showed you many times how to catch a salmon from a boat either on the ocean or in the waters of Puget Sound. But you can catch a salmon without a boat right from the shore. Doug Williams shows us how. The salmon run fairly close to the shore and you're able to catch salmon without even getting your feet wet here. It's great. You don't need a boat. You don't even need a friend with a boat. So Point No Point is one of the excellent places to catch salmon right off the beach couple different ways to fish for salmon here. The gentleman right behind me is fly fishing. That's one way. Fly fishing for salmon here at Point O Point is it's actually one of the few places around where you can really do it quite easily. Because you have a lot of area behind you, you don't have any bank or obstructions, any trees to worry about. The more popular way, though, is using gear, hardware, like this, like this buzz bomb. Buzz bombs, other lures like this, simple cast and retrieve right from the beach. And it's a very effective way. It's probably the most effective way to fish for salmon here at Point No Point. And all you need to do is cast it out 50, 60, 70 feet and just do a slow retrieve. Let, it, the, let the lure flutter back down, retrieve it, let it flutter back down. And it's usually a fairly effective way of catching salmon here. This time of year, we're looking mostly for coho salmon, although there might be a few pink salmon still around. And the chum salmon should be in all throughout the month of October. 
For the month of October, there's a two fish daily limit here at Point No Point. This is Marine Area 9. You have to release all Chinook. And beginning November 1st, for the month of November, you can re retain one Chinook per day as part of your two fish daily limit. And there's a 22 inch minimum size on Chinook. No minimum size on other fish. See if we can't catch a few. Nice fish. Look at this, Chuck. Here's uh, proof right here that you don't need a boat to. Uh... Oh, I lost it. And now is it? Now it's still on. Just coming right to the beach. Nice five pound or so coho. Heads up, Chuck. I'm gonna yard it right. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna lose it. That's what I'm gonna, not gonna do. Thank you very much. Here is your proof that you don't need a boat to catch a nice salmon in Puget Sound. It's about a four or five pound coho. So don't forget to bring the rod and reel next time you go into the beach. You might just be able to hook up with a nice coho salmon, maybe a chum salmon, sea run cutthroat trout. There's lots of different fishing opportunities without getting anywhere close to a boat. The Department of Fish and Wildlife offers hunter education classes all over the state. We are grateful for the many volunteers who make this program possible. In the Tri-Cities, the volunteers offer a very special day at the end of the hunter education course. This is a group of students that excelled on the knowledge part of our regular hunter education course. These students have been through 19 hours of classroom and six hours of range day, and they, and they excelled in the knowledge. So this is just a little reward for those that cared to try. These, these young shooters coming to the Connell Gun Club, we fitted them with a gun if they didn't have their own. Then we took them to the trap line where they were shooting continental trap, which means the bird goes left, right, up, and down. Lean forward. Lean forward. Oh, oh perfect. Good. Dead in the middle. Okay, open her up. Good shot. Good this pheasant hunt, there are going to be two birds released for each student. They're hopefully going to get to shoot one or two. And when they get done, if they get done before noon, they'll come in. Mr. Piavison will show them how to clean them. There's two birds released for each one of these students. There will be a, one or two dog owners and their dogs out with the group. There will be a coach with each student. Okay, see the dogs right here? Both the dogs are right in the over. They're looking in this bucket. So we'll move in. Move forward. Keep moving forward. I just see the brush in there, right in there. Something sneaking through there. See the brush in there? Go, oh, shoot. Nice shot, Jimmy. Nice shot. Yeah. Yeah. Got one chambered? Yep. Now, we caught this in the beach of it. We're going to try and push the bird that way. That's no guarantee it's going that way. You have to swing around. It's over. Nice okay. Experience today was fun, exciting, kind of nervous at the beginning, but once you got into it, it got. You weren't so nervous and you kind of know what to do. I decided to take hunter safety because I was going to go hunting and stuff with my dad. And I needed to go through it, he thought, to, you know, just to get into the hunting and everything. And so I did that and I passed my test to the high enough score that I got here. Hunter Ed 
teaches conservation skills, it teaches ethics, it teaches just concentration, responsibility. The fall months in Washington are a good time to get out and see what our state has to offer. Here are just a few suggestions for the coming weeks. This has been Wild About Washington, brought to you by the employees of the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife. Working together, we can save Washington's outdoor heritage for future generations. Thank you for watching, and join us again for more adventures. This one is taking the other approach. Uh, while the first one was uh, right onto the beach, this one's going to flop around out there for a while. Same lure, two and a half inch twirl to white buzz bomb. And you can see my canine assistant out there making sure that everything's okay. Yeah, this one's running parallel to the beach now. Make sure the drag isn't too tight. Ooh, this one's putting up a good tussle. One of the good things about fishing with uh, the ultralight gear that I use, uh, even a four pound, five pound salmon, which is what this one looks like, uh, feels like a pretty good one. Now, this dog doesn't mess me up. The, the dog messed me up. The Chesapeake Bay Retriever that you see cost me a nice four or five pound coho.